Ladies and gentlemen, digital investors, welcome back to another video where we cover everything that is going on inside of the crypto space. We got a really good day today, and we also have some really good news to go over some really crazy stuff also going on for ethereum we're going to look at a lot of ethereum stuff as well as some xrp whales that are moving around a massive amount of xrp we'll see what's going on in there we'll also be taking a look at the nft space which has blown up like crazy over the month of august so we're going to get started here if you guys are frequent viewers of the show or you appreciate this type of content then tapping the like button really does help a ton for the youtube algorithm and also leave a comment down below and let me know how long you have been subscribed to the channel also want to let you guys know for everybody in the patreon or maybe for not a patreon we have a new post up and we have new posts going in today and tomorrow and we have some really good stuff that is going in so if you've been wanting to join, it is very close to the beginning of the month. We are on September 5th. It's a great time to get in. I've been doing a lot of new project research, and I found some pretty promising looking projects that I will be posting into here tonight. It is $15 to join, but I think it's a really fair price for what we go over in here. So make sure you take a look at it and see if it's something you would benefit from. And I also want to really urge all the patrons already in here to go watch this video. It doesn't have that many views, but trust me, guys, this is one you really do need to watch along with the posts that we do today. I would watch those uh, immediately as soon as they come out because there are things that are happening in this space at a very, very quick rate. To head over to the Patreon, you can click the first link in the description of this video. And with that said, guys, we are going to hop into it. We're going to start with all of the craze going on about Ethereum. So we're starting off here with ethereum is dragging other crypto assets higher says the chainalysis ceo and he says that the fundamental changes in ethereum are contributing to the growth of other crypto assets eth has seen large price appreciation over the past few weeks largely due to protocol changes and growth in the network as well as DeFi. and this is what he says we've seen ethereum grow a lot over the last couple of weeks and then about a month ago we saw bigger platform changes to ethereum the network got stabilized and got better in various ways so i think that facilitated more trust in ethereum as a whole on top of that we've seen the trend of DeFi that's been growing and growing that's been pumping the interest into ethereum and ethereum is then dragging along a lot of the other cryptocurrencies with it right guys it is the crypto cycle we always see rotations in this market uh the most common one we've seen that most people are on board with is the rotation of money into bitcoin and then flowing into ethereum then to the large cap all coins mid cap altcoins and small cap altcoins but we do have a lot of utility now that is driving ethereum like these DeFi projects and like these nft projects which are going like crazy in popularity especially over this past month of august 120 of the largest DeFi platforms reside on ethereum highlighting the correlation between the emerging crypto subsector and the leading smart contract protocol the total value locked in the decentralized finance space is currently at an all-time high closing in on 100 billion and here we can see that tvl of us dollars locked in DeFi on this chart here and parabolic much <laughs> that's all we can really say on that we are seeing the value that is being locked up into these DeFi projects rise and rise and rise and it's getting much more popular the rest of this just goes over bitcoin and some stuff like that but we don't really want to cover bitcoin on today's video let's also check out some google trends stuff so after i was reading all this stuff about ethereum i was like you know what let me go check out the google trends and let's just kind of see what's going on we haven't checked on this in a while and we usually try to check this about once every two to three weeks here uh, because you know it, it's not really something you need to check every day it's just kind of to gauge you know how much are people looking stuff up especially on Google so here we have just the search term Ethereum and this is over the past five years uh, so as you can see here this was back in 2018 that last kind of bull market that we had and then here's all of our bear market and then the start of the bull and right now you know we've had this massive run up here and this was in if I can get my uh, cursor to stay steady here I'll let you guys know 
but this was in May 2nd to May 8th where we topped out at 100 and as you can see you know we had that pullback in crypto and honestly guys it's just looking really bullish right looks like we kind of got this double bottom here which I'm not necessarily trying to do TA on Google Trends but it's interesting how much it kind of plays out there almost does seem to be some type of TA here or really we could probably say that that Google Trends is just following the price action uh, so to see that interest is kind of stabilizing out here around you know this 40 to 25 20 uh, range here that's that's pretty good right we're not seeing it just drop down to level there's not completely uh, no interest we're, we're not having bear market interest we are seeing more interest than usual and it looks like we're bottoming out it looks bullish to me then moving over here to DeFi on Google Trends this also looks pretty cool and it looks a lot different than Ethereum right which almost shows me that there is a lot more I don't know maybe gains maybe potential inside of DeFi. here's the past five years and as you can see it's pretty choppy pretty much nothing uh, but it, it did you know after that last price increase we saw we do have a little bit more I guess you could say popularity with DeFi. If we go out to 2004 to present, we also get some interesting stuff where since 2004, not really anything, right? As you can see, we're mainly just on this, this level right here, this 25 line. And, uh, you know, ever since our first leg up of this bull market, DeFi has finally, for the first time in pretty much forever since 2004, uh, we have reached the highest levels ever. So this combined with Ethereum, of course, combined with all the other on-chain metrics that we see the whales that we know they're getting into crypto we can see what is being bought up uh, i can personally see on my youtube channel here uh, the activity is going up the views are going up whereas to when we were pulling back the views were down and it seemed like everybody's views were down it's amazing i never thought when i started this youtube channel that it could almost be used as you know uh, something to look at to see how the market is doing but I can tell you guys I definitely see views going up uh, I definitely see more people subscribing now uh, and, and so I think all of that right that all gives me better conviction in knowing that the bull market is still on we have not entered a bear market and especially with these coins popping off especially ethereum right now i think what ethereum is doing right now uh, really just goes to show that the bull market is not over and we were getting a lot of that fud just a short couple of weeks ago so keep that in mind guys if, if you're new here and you were seeing that a sentiment changes quickly people are very greedy and very scared in this market once things are going up everyone's a greedy pig and once things are going down everybody has paper hands uh really the best thing is to never follow the herd and and really have your own plan i know that sounds kind of cliche a lot of people say that but when you have your own plan you really can't be beat because you're beating to the sound of your own drum and that's always going to be the best because we're all different we have different ent entry strategies different exit strategies some of us are in diff are into crypto for completely different reasons and for that <laughs> you really need your own plan right I know there's a lot of us here that want to hold crypto for the next 10 years and there's also some of us here who are just getting into crypto because they need to buy a house okay so different plans for different people here's a chart this was posted on Twitter by at document ether and it's been shared by a plenty of people I'm sure it's in some articles too but this is where I found it so I'll present it right here this is the ethereum daily block rewards versus burn tokens since the EIP 1559 implementation so as you can see daily block rewards in blue the levels here you can see it is pretty much constant right there's not much change there's not much flux fluctuation but we can see that in the red here which is the daily burn fees there is a lot of fluctuation and as of right now the daily burned fees are higher than the daily block rewards and as they say this is makes ethereum its first ever deflationary day which is insane and if we continue this i think that gives a really a good glimpse into the future if if ethereum stays deflationary even just for a short period of time right let's say for this bull market we could see ethereum go to absurdly high prices uh just because of this deflationary aspect i think even if it is short-lived right maybe once we go into the bear market it's not as crazy anymore uh, but I think this could really fuel uh, the fire even further right here now let's jump into some NFT stuff this 12 year old NFT whiz rakes in 400,000 US dollars in Ethereum by selling NFTs and wants to hold it this kid is 12 years old it is crazy uh, here's a little piece out of the article this 12 year old who took up coding at age 5 has since gone on to make $400,000 in Ethereum for making and selling NFTs what's more he says he has no intention of converting his coins to fiat because quote 
can't believe this came out of the kid's mouth. In the future, people might not have bank accounts, just Ether wallets. Based AF, man, this kid knows what is going on. I would say this kid's a future millionaire, but since he's already made 400K in Ethereum, he's probably gonna be a future billionaire. So that is really crazy. And and this, you know, stories like this is stuff that's gonna bring in the masses. As you can see here in this picture, um, it looks like CNBC Make It also reported on this just by the watermark there. And this is the stuff that really uh, brings people into crypto. Stories get created, brands get created. It's just a really exciting time. Time, guys i don't know if you could tell but it's just a really exciting time we also have this on cnn business shilling to the masses this came out today they say remember nfts they're back big time and there was this clip between mike novogratz and gary v and they're kind of giving their talks on nfts just mainly going over how this is pretty much a ground floor opportunity here uh they're talking about you know kind of how video games weren't that important nobody was really paying attention to them but look at how the gaming industry is and now saying the same thing about nfts you know nfts no one's really paying attention to it everybody's pretty much laughing at it and that's the one thing that i also see um in, in many different communities that i'm a part of in the crypto space many different uh token holdings the one thing that i've seen is most people are just laughing at nfts and because of that it's making me extremely bullish on them it's making me want to get into them because of how many people are just laughing at them and and I think there is a lot more to NFTs than just the surface level. It's a not. It's a lot more than just these silly little pictures selling for a lot of money. Um, it's the communities behind them. We're going to talk a lot more about that t today inside of the Patreon. Again, if you guys want to see everything of what we're doing in there, it is the first link in the description. And I have a really exciting video that is going out today, going over some projects. Um, and, and also make sure if you get in, you watch our most recent video so you can get up to speed on kind of what's going on. And of course, all the other videos, you have like over 30 pieces of content in there already. And of course, that will just continue to build up and build up and build up. Here we have Ethereum co-founder wants a major Dogecoin upgrade. It says the crypto asset can borrow code from ETH. Now, this is something crazy, right? We are literally literally seeing Dogecoin go from a nothing joke project to, you know, Vitalik Buterin saying, hey, we want to see Dogecoin be improved and they can borrow code from us. Uh, this is something truly weird going on uh, with Dogecoin. And, you know, we have Elon pumping it. We have people really getting into it. As much as it cringes me to say this, you know, maybe we do see Dogecoin have some staying power. That's not to say it doesn't absolutely dump in the bear market. I think it will dump harder than most other utility crypto assets. But we could we see Dogecoin here to stay? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, I think the perfect question for this video is, do you think Dogecoin will be here 10 years from now? Uh, let me know that in the comments below, and I'm really interested to see what you guys say. I might also even put out a poll on that. So let's hop into this. Vitalik Buterin is detailing some promising ideas that he would like to see implemented in Dogecoin. This was in a response to a question on what improvements he would like to see in Doge. And Buterin says he hopes that the meme coin can transition from a proof of work to a proof of stake consensus uh, just like ethereum is doing he also hopes that dogecoin remains an inflationary coin currently only 5 billion dogecoin can be mined annually which i thought was interesting right why would you want it to remain inflationary but in this case he does uh the new Doge, dogecoin supply should be stored in a decentralized dao which spends on public goods says vitalik he says it would fit well with the dogecoin's non-greedy wholesome ethos he also says there's a big chance that Bitcoin or Ethereum will remain volatile even after cryptocurrencies have achieved wide adoption. And this is different from the Dogecoin stuff, but I thought it was interesting to put in, right? Um, so he's saying even after wide adoption, Bitcoin and Ethereum could remain volatile, which honestly sounds good to me, right? If these assets remain volatile, that just means there's still going to be opportunity to uh, swing trade them, and, and I'm going to be all for that. So he says stable coins might be needed indefinitely because of this, right? If Bitcoin and Ethereum uh, remain volatile along with the rest of the crypto market, we may see uh, stable coins here to stay. And this is what he says. Some people think stable coins are purely transition tech and post hyper cryptoization, which is a word that I've never heard before. Hyper cryptoization. I guess that's what we're moving into. Uh, so post that Bitcoin or Ether will be stable. I think there's a big chance this is wrong. And even post hyper cryptoization, we would still need explicit stable coins. So some interesting thoughts out of Vitalik Buterin's mind and also some interesting uh, ideas that he has for Doge Coin. Again, definitely let me know in the comments. In 10 years from now, do you think Dogecoin is still going to be even relevant? Let me know. 
And now let's hop into this sudden whale activity involving large sums may signify this for XRP. And it looks like I somehow I accidentally highlighted this. I don't know how that happened. Uh, but here we go. A stream of whale alerts was broken by whales moving tens of millions of XRP between unknown wallets on Bittrex, Binance, and even Ripple. Does this signal a potential dump? The transfers took place between 3 and 4th of September, and it came at a time when several altcoins were enjoying a rally, uh, some of which would be Solana, Litecoin, Polkadot, and even XRP was up 10% while this was happening. One of the smallest transfers was 10 million XRP from Ripple to an unknown wallet, and the largest was 218 million XRP, worth about $280 million, sent from an unknown wallet to Ripple. So, of course, this caught the attention of a lot of people. You know, and almost, you know, anytime we see massive amounts like this being moved, whether it's XRP or anything else, it definitely gets people's attention. Also, Whale Alert, these guys are on Twitter, and they're the ones who post all these alerts. If you guys are new here, um, they're, they're probably definitely a a follow right you get some interesting stuff some interesting updates you can kind of see what's going on in the market and it doesn't show you the small trades right it's mainly the big whale trades which is what we're all interested in they say more traders were regaining interest in xrp as its price rallied alongside other altcoins on the 4th of september sentiment recorded 25.9 thousand active addresses on the xrp network in a 24 hour period that is really honestly pretty good here we have a chart that shows that this green line right here is the price of XRP and this red stuff right here is the active addresses and as we can see right here they are picking up quite considerably which is great to see they also make a comparison post that on the 4th of August there were only 11.7 thousand active addresses so we have much more active addresses now in September the beginning of September than we did in the beginning of August the unknown whales moved to more than 380 million XRP in less than 24 hours so the whales are moving around i have also seen a lot of big big purchases on some of the altcoins that we hold some of our crypto picks there are some big purchases going on there are definitely uh whales accumulating who have been accumulating all this dip it looks like retail starting to flood back not flood back in but starting to trickle back in the bullish sentiment is starting to shift you know we're still in greed we're at 73 and it's great to see that we're in greed but we're not in extreme greed right the market is optimistic the market is kind of getting a little greedy we're in the 70 we're just out of neutral pretty much right we're not like dark green we're kind of coming out of the yellow into the bright green so it shows that there's still room to go and also check out i think it was yesterday's video where we we went over some ethereum metric i'd have to look at it to refresh my memory um but it, it was something something along the lines of you know ethereum's pumping um but there was some metric showing how we have you know so much more gas left in the tank i can't think of it off the top of my head but make sure you definitely check out uh, yesterday's video that we put up uh, we, there's a lot of good stuff covered in there our prices for today we'll go over the top 10 here quickly we have bitcoin at fifty thousand dollars ethereum at 3900 cardano at two dollars and 86 cents bnb at just under 500 dollars xrp at a dollar and 29 cents dogecoin has hit 30 cents solana at 136 dollars polka dot showing us the 33 and litecoin at 226 dollars with that said guys this video is getting a little longer than i anticipated so i will end it here if you guys enjoyed it tapping the like button really does help a ton i really appreciate all the support that you guys have given me it is much much appreciated and make sure you subscribe okay if you guys are trying to get updated on everything going on in the crypto markets subscribe and hit the bell you'll be notified every time i upload you guys know this isn't financial advice and i'm not a financial advisor i'm just having a great time with you guys doc documenting the daily crypto news and this crypto bull run with that said guys hope you all have a great day and i will see you on the next video